name is Jan Sander and today we're going to talk about Metro Vancouver uh, benchmark prices and trends on a year-to-year -year basis to see how each city performed annually. Uh, lower mainland uh, decreased in value, the benchmark decreased in value by 6.3%. For Greater Vancouver, the benchmark decreased by 7.7%. For Bowman Island, it increased by 0.99%. For Burnaby East, it decreased by 8.3%. For Burnaby North, it decreased by 6.7%. For Burnaby South, it decreased by 6.8%. For Coquitlam, it decreased by 5.8%. For Ladner, it decreased by 4.9%. For Maple Ridge, it decreased by 5.1%. For New Westminster, it decreased by um, 6%. For North Vancouver, it decreased by 9.2%. For Pete Meadows, it decreased by 3.6%. For Port Coquitlam, it decreased by 7%. For Port Moody, it decreased by 5.4%. For Richmond, it decreased by 7.5%. For Squamish, it decreased by 3.5%. For the Sunside Coast, there was no change in the benchmark. For Vancouver East, it decreased by 8.2%. For Vancouver West, it decreased by 10.1%. For West Vancouver, by a walking of 16.7%. And for Whistler, it decreased by 4.5%. Out of all the areas, we see that Bowen Island increased in value by 0.99% and the Sunshine Coast had no change. Other than that, all the other areas in Metro Vancouver has been affected and prices have declined on a year-over-year -year basis. Uh, hopefully you found this research helpful and uh, if you would like to share it with a friend, feel free to do so. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.